Good morning, friends. I hope you had a great weekend. We are going to continue talking about nature all around us, but this week we're going to focus on the weather. What kind of weather do you like to have outside? Do you like it when it's snowy or rainy, sunny, cloudy? Which one of those is your favorite? All of those are kinds of weather, right? Today we're going to read a story called, What Will the Weather Be Like Today? Written by Paul Rogers, and the pictures are by Kazuko. Here we go. What will the weather be like today? Just at the moment when night becomes day, when the stars in the sky begin fading away. You can hear all the birds and the animals say, What will the weather be like today? Will it be windy? And look, you can see the trees are blowing in the wind and someone's flying a kite. Will it be warm? There's people swimming and having picnics. Will there be snow or a frost? That means it's nice and chilly outside, right? Or a storm? I like thunderstorms. Do you like thunderstorms? Sometimes the lightning can spook you a little bit, but it's kind of cool. Be dry, says the lizard, and I won't complain. The frog in the bog says, perhaps it will rain. The white cockatoo likes it steamy and hot. There he is. The mole doesn't know if it's raining or not. How come he doesn't know what the weather's like? He's underground, right? Whatever the weather, I work, says the bee. Wet, says the duck, is the weather for me. Weather? What's that? Say the fish in the sea. They don't know the weather either because they're under the water. The world has awakened. The day has begun. And somewhere in cloudy, and somewhere there's sun. And somewhere the sun and the rain meet to play. What happens if it's sunny and rainy at the same time? A rainbow, that's right. And paint a bright rainbow to dress up the day. How is the weather where you are today? The end. All right, friends, we have a new letter of the week this week, and this is what it looks like. Does anybody know what that letter is? It's the letter U, and U makes the sound uh, uh. Can you make that sound? Uh, uh. When we make the letter U, we're going to start up at the top, just like we do for all of our letters. And we're going to come down. Uh-oh, my marker's not working, friends. That's not a good sign. Let's try again. We're going to start at the top and come down and curve back up. And then when we make a lowercase u, it looks the exact same, just smaller. So we're going to start at the top, come down and curve, and then go back up. All right. I will see you later this week. Have a good time with the activities. Bye.